Hey guys, I'm sorry, my phone was going off. I always get so amazed when I see that. Can you say one day I'm going to get a clear shot of that? That's my um painting of Adam and Eve. Um, it's an amazing, amazing um picture it has so many hidden things in there like the animals and stuff so you have to look at it close to find all the stuff that's in there but anywho hi guys i know that i have not been on my channel that much um i think dish and taste is posting even when i'm not on there i hope it's still on my channel when i'm not on. i gotta check with me um i just been really 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 busy and still a little under the weather and whatnot so um the other day i made a quick video because i needed i wanted to address some stuff and i if i haven't said it already um excuse the light but like i said i've been tired under the weather a lot going on so no i'm not sitting over there at the backdrop with all the lights and everything honey okay so let's get to it the other day i got on because <laughs> mm, pardon me because i turned on the tv I heard Nature Boy ranting and raving, and then I heard him talking about Shaka. So, you guys know, I talk to some of them from time to time, and um, Shaka and Azim are, are um, a couple of the people who I really hold dear to my heart, because I just really feel like, you know you can talk to somebody and just know that they're genuine? Okay, well, that's how I feel about him and his wife. So... You know, in my head, you know, in my head, how Wendy Williams say, my friends in my head, there's my niece and my nephew in my head. So when I hear some mess, I'm like, hold up, what's going on? So I told y'all the other day, I reached out to Shaka and I talked to him. He let me know a little bit what was going on. So I told him I was going to do some research and stuff before I had anything to really say about it. I did not know so much shit was going on in my little bit of absence. Good Lord. Okay, so Nature Boy's got his draws in a bunch because um, I get if, because he feeling some type of way about Velvet and Velvet saying she wants to meet up with all the people who has left or whatever and I don't know for sure because my nephew didn't say for sure. He just was saying, you know, he just was like he mad he showed a picture of me and my family or whatever, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take that because I don't know what he's so upset about. Because for somebody who claims he doesn't love her, he can't stand her, he ain't never loved her, F that B, this, that, 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 that. You sure? You sure? And you're feeling so much about her. Now, the thing with Shaka. So I'm just listening to the shit when Shaka was talking to True. So I need to ask y'all a question because before I start calling um this child out of his name, does True have any kind of mental de um delays or something? And I'm asking that from with a sincere heart because I'm about to tear his ass up. But he seems a little slow to me. So if he is I apologize in advance, but you, true, sir, have got to be the most brainwashed motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. To me, you are worse than the women. How dare you get on there? Def First of all, Nature Boy don't need nobody to defend him. If he want to say something, he is more than capable of saying it. He says whatever the hell he wants to say out of his mouth all the time. Y'all know I say I try to be as fair as possible because in my mind and in my heart, I feel like um, Nature Boy is very, very troubled and he really needs some help and he don't think that he does. So, you know, and as I said many, many times, I want to talk to him again, but I don't want to talk to him when he's in that state where he's all over the place and all rambunctious and stuff because it's hard to be able to have a conversation with him with that. So... Just from me working in mental health, and I am not a psychiatrist, I am not, nor am I an RN. I just was a mental health counselor for years and years and years and years and years. Um, 
just my observation of working with all the people that I have worked with and so many people that have so many different disorders and stuff like that. Nature Boy um, appears to have, he appears to be bipolar, that's one. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if he hears voices, so I don't want to call him schizophrenic, but some of his actions, he acts like it. He acts like he's a manic depressant because you can tell when he gets manic. Y'all ever see some time when he's talking and he actually makes some sense? And then like the next day, he ran and raving and cussing everybody out. And, you know, I'm God and I'm this and, uh, and F y'all. and da, 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 da. He's in a manic state right then. Okay. So no matter what we want to say, he ain't all the way there either. So when he's having clear consciousness and stuff like that, and maybe sometimes saying some stuff that is beneficial, I think sometimes people catch him in those beneficial moments and then they get sucked in to all the other stuff. But in my opinion, you can't help anybody on any journey until you accept the fact that you need help. All right. So let's go back to truth. Were you honestly trying to come for Shaka? Like, and I know that Shaka don't need me to take up for him. Because I know if any circumstances, if you were standing in front of him and you popped off at your mouth, you probably wound up popped on your ass. But how dare you, a grown man, sit up there taking up for some other grown man when you don't even know the circumstances of what actually happened? And I'm going to say, I'm going to repeat what I said before. I was one of those ones who was saying, why didn't y'all check Nature Boy on his shit when he was whooping on Velvet Ass and all kinds of stuff like that? And like, and like the answer I got from more than one of them was, if you in a place, you in a strange place, and you got all these people who rocking with him, and then you stand up, and then what will that mean for you and your family? You understand what I'm saying? See, I could see if it was just, maybe if it was just shocking. But as a husband, he made sure his wife and his child was okay. That's a real man. Okay? And you don't check nobody about what the fuck they got to say after they leave. He left. It wasn't for him. At least he ain't been there for all his goddamn time. Brainwashed and stupid. And, and so can't think for himself. You can't think for yourself. That don't make no sense how you guys have saying you, you know all this knowledge, you know all this knowledge, you know all this knowledge, but you can't apply it and do it on your own. How in your right mind do you follow somebody who is so disrespectful of women, calling the women all out their name, treating them like shit, and if you're treating a mother like shit, then that means you don't give a damn about their kids either. So you, sir, are a dumbass. And if you want to talk to me, you can. Ask Chief. He know my phone number. Tell him to call. Tell him to give it to you so you can call me. I have no problem doing an interview with you too. Because I need to understand your shit. I can understand him better because he's only talking for himself. But you trying to talk for him, for me, that's some bullshit. And then you're supposed to be all about nature and God and loving and everything. And then you want to bring up crib shit? We bringing up gang shit? So is you away from Babylon or not? Okay? Get y'all shit together. Okay? And then call me back because at now y'all starting to piss me off with the dumb shit. Okay? Y'all really need to get y'all shit together. And maybe if y'all took the time to get the fuck offline every five damn minutes and really try to live what you say you live in, y'all wouldn't be the topic of everybody's discussion. Yeah, y'all got me in the heat at once tonight. So let's have it. Let's go. And I pray. I pray that you call Chief. Ask Chief for my number. Ask him for it. Tell him he can watch it. He can see that I'm telling him to give it to you. So, 
let's move on. So, um, what is the other guy's name, y'all? Um, TK? Oh, TKO. Okay. So, I've only seen him, TKO, a few times. I've only seen him a few times. And I want y'all to know right off the rip, from all the stuff I did today, I've reached out to him, okay? So, TKO, I've only seen a few times. The times I've seen him before, um, it didn't appear that them two were really rocking. Him and Nature Boy were really rocking out together, whatever. Then, it was like a few weeks ago, I heard... Um, I heard... Uh, Sorry about that, y'all. A few weeks ago, I heard of uh, them two supposed to been together or big O or I've been on the site before. I don't really know how it works. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. I think it's big O. And then, um, cause I was a little bit confused like that. Cause he was like, yeah, cause I bought, guess who I bought with me and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, who's that? I didn't know what that was about. So then fast forward to now. Um, as I'm trying to do my research about what was going on and, uh, why people were, uh, talking shit and trying to come for Shaka, I ran across, um, the Nature Boy and TKO Capone stuff on Big O. Okay. I'm gonna tell you my issue I had with this. One, um, when Nature Boy tries to talk all over everybody, that gets on my last damn nerve. I hate it. You don't let nobody talk. And I don't feel like you should be telling somebody what they don't know. Because trying to come at him for saying because he likes nice things and, you know, he's not in the street and stuff no more, but he appears to like nice things and whatnot, that that's still being plugged in and still in Babylon. Okay. Well, this is where um, me and Nature Boy will probably have to have a talk. Because it doesn't matter. I'm going to honestly say now, it does not matter where you are. Babylon, for real, is a state of mind. And you, Nature Boy, yes, I, Nikki, is, I'm telling you, you are in a Babylon state of mind most of the time. Because the things you do are so away from the stuff that you say that you are. It doesn't matter when you're doing Babylon type shit. It doesn't matter where you rush to here, whether you're in the tent or in the house. You cannot preach one thing and do something else. We see you online drinking and smoking. Like when you get in those manic states, you 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 out there. But that doesn't mean somebody else is not conscious because they don't want to live in the jungle or because. They want to make their own money. That does not mean that they're not conscious. What it means is they're learning things and trying to apply what they have learned, what they continue to learn to the bullshit that we have to live in. That's conscious. Okay. Um, I don't see why you find it so hard to have a regular conversation with another man. Like there should be some respect issue to be able to have a conversation. Not when they say something that you don't agree with, you want to hang up. Because at the end of the day, there are a lot of things we don't agree with. And I talked to you, we were on the thing for like three hours. And I told you before we started, I was like, Chief, most of the stuff you said, most of the stuff y'all do, I don't rock with. I'm going to just tell you that. But I have respect for anybody what their belief thing is. Because I would need to understand what it is that you believe in what you're trying to do before I could say anything about it. So when you arguing with somebody or telling somebody that they ain't this and they ain't that, that's just nut shit right there. Now, I'm telling you as an OG auntie, that's just nut shit. And it sounds like some real hate and shit to me. I'm going to just say that. If it's not, you can call me. We can talk about it. And you know I don't have no problem with saying, hey, we talk. This is what he had to say. I need for y'all to learn how to start having some respect for each other. Because don't know until we close our damn eyes and whatever happened after that, ain't none of us going to know if we got it right or not until then. So all we need to do is have a little bit of respect. That's it. 
Somebody don't want to rock the way you don't want to rock. That's cool. But you don't have to be disrespectful. I watched the video. I didn't see him popping off flower with you or whatever, whatever. Actually, he talked real mild mannered and whatnot and, and let you talk. But you didn't want to give them that same thing. That's I, that, that's why I said I, I don't understand sometimes. And that's why I said I know sometimes uh, Nature Boy be in a different state of mind. Because sometimes he'll talk. He'll be cool. Other times he smashes out or he hang up. Like you don't want to have a real conversation. Or if somebody ain't agreeing with what you're saying, you don't want to talk to them. There's no growth in that. There's no growth in, I, I don't want to hear what you're talking about. There's no growth in that. You can't be a higher self if you're not willing to always learn. And just because somebody is teaching something a little bit different does not mean they right or you right or they wrong or they wrong. It's what they know themselves to be. And we can only do, the only thing we can really do is try to understand each other. Now, when you're doing just fucked up wrong shit, then yeah, you call that out. That's why so many people call Nature Boy out. Because a lot of the shit he does is so fucked up and wrong. I ain't gonna, I, I'm not going to go all back on that stuff. But I have reached out to TKO. So if anybody, you know, um, you know, hit him up, let him know. I, I DM'd them on Instagram. I don't know another way to um, get at him. Um, I guess I'm getting closer to the time when I'm going to go ahead and reach out to Nature Boy and talk to him again. I don't know how it's going to go. I hope it don't go left because I'm really getting heated about the way a lot of things been going on. So we'll see. Um, Shaka, Azeem, y'all know Auntie, I love y'all. I'll be talking with y'all soon. Um, and even though I know I don't have to say this to y'all, I know that y'all hearts are are very good hearts. And so all I'm saying is don't let the bullshit get to y'all. And I know that y'all don't. I'm just saying it just in case any, you know, sometimes little shit creep in our head. Don't. Don't. Because that shit ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Um, So I'm going to go because it looked like Big Meech was just calling me. So I need to see if I'm supposed to be on live tonight with Dish and Tea with Big Meech. If so, make sure you guys come and watch us. It will probably be streaming on my channel on YouTube as well as on Big Meech's channel. I love you guys and sorry to get so hot, but um, I know that I took some time off and coming back to this foolishness is getting on Nikki upset and I don't like it. But thanks for the fast chat. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.